As I was saying, may it please your lordships, I had already introduced myself, Francis Sama, advocate at the Cameroon Bar Association resident in Bamenda. Your lordship, attendez un peu, maître, pour qu'on vous donne la parole. Ah, okay. Vous avez suivi hein, la conclusion, la lecture de la conclusion du rapport. Est-ce yes. que vous êtes d'accord avec le rapport ou non, avant de continuer vous êtes le, le rapport que vous, vous avez des observations sur la conclusion du rapport qui dit que euh, les moyens que vous avez produits ne sont pas fondés et le recours est à rejeter. Vous dites d'abord si vous êtes d'accord ou si vous n'êtes pas d'accord. Obviously, Your Lordship, with all due respect to the very learned rapporteur, candidate Joshua aussi vehemently objects to the report presented by the Lenet Constitutional Counselor. So we shall have ob observations and with your permission we shall proceed to present our arguments in support thereof when you shall so permit your Lordship. Thank you my Lord. Once more again it's a big honor and privilege for me to appear before the Constitutional Council for the first time. I wish on behalf of the candidate to state that I am lead counsel for candidate Joshua Nambangi Osi, candidate presented by the Social Democratic Front political party as its flag bearer for the presidential elections of October 7th, 2018. As lead counsel, my client, your lordships, have instructed me and the battery of lawyers whom I'll be introducing to this August jurisdiction to dwell exclusively on the grounds we presented to this honorable court in our petition. We shall therefore only submit infra petita and not ultra petita. We have listened keenly to the report presented by the rapporteur, and as I told your lordships, we disagree in total, which is our constitutional rights, and therefore it's a very big professional privilege for me to lead the advocates under the instructions of our client, candidate Joshua Nambangi Osi, to present submissions in support of and articulate, corroborate our grounds of the petition. We assure your lordships we don't need two days to do that. We can assure you will make valuable use of the time you shall give us. Yellow chips. I'll start by making some general observations on the report. And I dare to say it's history, but in 1976, when I was a young budging student from Kaspambili, I registered in Yaoundé University. I had the privilege to have as one of my assistant lecturers, Constitutional Counselor Professor Lekenin Dongfak. So I'm going to give back to him what he taught me. Over and above all, the venerated Professor Bipun Vum was my Constitutional Law Lecturer in Yaoundé University. I want to assure him that he will not be disappointed with the work he taught me because I will restitute it to him. In like manner, your lordships, I had the privilege with a very learned and respected former Procureur General of the Southwest Region, who I continue to say, and I'll say it in public, was greatly appreciated by all the advocates in the Southwest Region and Northwest Region. I had the privilege to do some training with him in the School of Magistracy of Bordeaux and uh, Paris. 
I know him as a man of caliber, just like all the other senior citizens and sages that all of you are. But it's a very particular privilege that today I appear before her lordship, Constitutional Council of Justice, Chief Justice Florence Array. I took my oath before her as a people advocate in 1982 in Bamenda when she was Vice President of the Court of Appeal. Above all of that, you may find it interesting, but I would like to say it, it gives decorum to these proceedings. At the same time, when we're in university, venerated Professor Chonji Nkui was a lecturer in that university. I see some other counselors who were students like me at the time, I will not call their names. And all these very senior learned members of the judiciary and other professions of this country, highly venerated magistrates and administrators of experience. The president of this court, before whom I appeared several times in the administrative bench of the Supreme Court, true to himself, gives room for lawyers to articulate and talk. I thank you, Mr. President, for what you and the Constitutional Councillors have done this morning. Taught a good lesson to all of us. We are all in a learning process by restituting the rights of Cameroonians to follow these proceedings, which is a public hearing. I thank you, Mr. President. No doubt. You are not only a Chief Justice, you are a member of the Cameroon Bar Association. And I had the singular privilege to be Bar President and I enrolled you in the Cameroon Bar. Look at how life is. Today I'm appearing before you. What an honor, Your Lordship. This said, I'll start by referring Your Lordships to section four of the organic law of the Constitutional Council, the law that created the Constitutional Council. Which provides, if you want uh, that I cite the law, I will do so. I've just mixed up my references. Okay, where's the law organizing? The, okay, the Constitutional Council. It is here. It's just nous restons ah, toujours à l'audience ici euh, au Palais du mm -hmm. Congrès, et c'est le SDF et ses conseils I'm sorry, qui, uh, qui ont la parole pour des observations à la suite du rapport du conseiller Le Kenny Dongfak qui a conclu évidemment au rejet de cette requête parce que euh, les n'est pas suffisamment apporté. I'm trained in a culture where lawyers respect courtroom decorum and professional ethics. I appreciate Barrister Kisop, who is counsel for the opposing party the CPDM candidate, and he magnanimously comes to give me an authority. We lawyers are not at war. We are just carrying out a professional duty to edify this constitutional council on the laws. You can see a learned gentleman comes to assist me. That is the practice of law I know of. I was saying, your lordships, that I will refer you respectfully to section four of Law number 2004-04 of the 21st of April 2004 uh, on the organization and uh, functioning of the Constitutional Council. And I'll read it in French first. Les décisions et avis du Conseil constitutionnel sont motivés. In English, the decisions and opinion of the Constitutional Council 
shall be reasoned. I've cited this section because I wish to keep the panel at ease that the battery of lawyers who are going to appear here after me would give you all these reasons. Ils vont vous fournir, messieurs les conseillers constitutionnels, de motivation pour vous permettre de déclarer l'annulation du scrutin présidentiel du 7 octobre. It is my further honor to refer your lordships to the fact that you have overwhelming powers under section 3 of that same law to make a ruling on the regularity of the elections. My duty today with my colleagues is to present only facts and law to buttress that reasoned ruling we, which we shall at the end call on this Constitutional Council to reverse the findings of the rapporteur and with the final con words of conclusion of the candidate himself, you shall declare these elections that there were non event. Young, well trained lawyers here, respecting professional ethics, respecting the right of the other side, Audi Alteram Partem will address you. But before I hand over the rostrum, with your kind permission, your lordships, to my colleagues, I'd like to make some personal observations. And I thank you once more, the Constitutional Council for making these proceedings public, and public indeed. By that, your lordships have demonstrated your independence, and that you shall judge according to the law and your consciences. You are all senior respected citizens with a world of experience and wisdom. We once more acknowledge your magnanimity since the past three days for giving room to all the lawyers to express themselves that is respect for the Cameroon Bar Association much as each council came here to support the case of his client and I say this as a past bar president the primary duty of lawyers is to edify the court to assist the court to arrive at a fair and just decision. And this court, being the highest court of the land with regards to the subject of elections, your judgments not being appealable, except only by the ultimate appellate court, the man we only know lives up there but we've never seen him, we shall do our best to assist your lordships to arrive at a just decision and I pray your lordships to make use of this golden opportunity that you have I'm not a prophet of doom but God forbid I don't know if I'll be here and if most of you will be here when the next presidential elections disputes will come up seven years from now so use this opportunity your lordships to inscribe your names on the sands of time, of history, of this nation. Your hands are not tied, as was said by a great judge in 1992. Because he found as a fact that there were irregularities in an election, but he said on oath, and history can, will not discountenance what I'm saying, he said, the law does not permit me to make a pronouncement on the outcome. Today, thank God, the organic law creating this institution gives you the full powers 
to declare one way or the other. And as I was saying, your lordships, take into consideration the fact that Cameroon is a bijural, bicultural, and bilingual country. That's why you can see me dressed this way, and some of my colleagues there are dressed in another way. Let's be proud of this bijural nature of our country. After all, I'm not the cause. We inherited it in 1960-61, and everything should be done to uphold these virtues of this country. I therefore take the opportunity to thank my learned friends and their client, the candidate for the CPDM party, who yesterday did us the favor of bringing two witnesses who gave viva voce testimony here, two senior magistrates of our military system of justice, who were schoolmates, and in the culture in which I'm trained, because they are not members of the bench, but of the bar, the public bar, the director of military justice and the director of administration and general services in the Ministry of Justice. So I can well call them my learned colleagues. Everybody listen. They came here and told you what happened in the Northwest and Southwest in particular. I'm not the one who said it. I think one of them said that the participation was 5% in the Northwest and 15 in the Southwest. We shall bring evidence to show that it was less than that. Your Lordships, I don't admire your position. I don't admire the duty you are asked by law to perform. Because you have to take far-reaching decisions that will affect the future of this country. I dare to say that from all of what you have been hearing for the past three days, nobody can dispute the fact that the elections in the Northwest and the Southwest regions were an epic display of boycott, fear, rejection, and you name it. I'm not the one to say it. In our petition, we raised it that the impression will be given that the President of the Republic of Cameroon, whom you shall declare because you have the powers to do so when you declare the results, will be seen by some Cameroonians. And I have pain to call that name, but I have to call it. We were seen by those Cameroonians who call themselves Ambazonians as a president of the Francophones of Cameroon. Kill me if you want, that's the truth. If you do not uphold the grounds raised by candidate Joshua Osi, you will be giving legitimation to the Amba boys and the Ambazonians. You will be giving them further legality. They are going to argue and tell the world that you see, there were no elections here, and they will argue that that was a rejection by the Northwesterners and Southwesterners of these elections. And I doubt what legitimacy that President of the Republic will have over them. I therefore implore you, your lordships, to take your time, deliver a reasoned judgment, include the grounds raised by candidate Joshua Osi, and using the magic that all of you know when you are in your deliberations, and come out with a convincing reason why you should not cancel those elections. Help that President of the Republic, whom you shall hereafter declare, to solve the Anglophone problem of this country. Your Lordships, what is the legacy you shall leave for your children? And I dare say your grandchildren, because younger as I am, I'm a grandfather. What is the legacy you will leave for your children? That you had the golden opportunity to correct the wrongs in this beloved triangle. And you did not take advantage of it.
I am an elite not only of the Northwest region, I dare say of the Republic of Cameroon. I've been the president of the Cameroon Bar Association. Believe me, I was voted by the Francophone lawyers, not even the Anglophone lawyers, because they challenged me. My record is there for everybody to see. Je suis de la notabilité, non seulement du Nord-Ouest, mais de la République du Cameroun. Un ancien bâtonnier, ça ne se compte pas. But I did not vote. I did not take part in voting the president of my country. Because I could not come out of my house. Un PC de la gendarmerie était implanté devant ma portail. Je ne me vante pas, mais de ma maison, j'ai appuyé sur le bouton pour ouvrir la barrière. Et un a dit non, le père fermé, ne sortez pas. God forbid. I could not come out of my house. What about the ordinary Cameroonian of the Northwest and Southwest region? You don't need to go far, your lordships. As the venerated senator sitting two seats to the president of this august tribunal. Whether he has a house in his village, in Com, it was raised down, asking whether he could go and vote there. God alone knows that in nominating you, it was well done. As the venerated former co-president of the international tribunal in Rwanda, whether anybody could go and vote in Manu, peacefully, peacefully. I'm not saying the fear alone of the Amber boys. You can sit here, whoever, Elecom, candidates, and talk about Amazonia and the Amber boys. You have never come face to face with them like me. The other day I was traveling to the airport and I was met by two of them, two young boys. They stopped me and said, who are you? I said, I'm lawyer Sama. They said, like, I don't know you be lawyer Sama or no lawyer Sama. I said, Ma Sama, I don't know me. Lawyer Sama and me, where they come for you and they can't defend people. Go outside, defend. I start defending since 1992. One said, hey, now you be pa Sama? And I said, yes. He said, you live for Funchas? I said, yes. He said, Pao, escort you. But next time, no come out there. Eh? No come out, then you know go go back. You need to meet them face to face and you won't say what you're saying here. Don't give justification and legitimacy to those you are saying don't have a right to. But your lordships, it's not my fault, it's neither yours. The forefathers of this nation in 1919, and 61 made this country a federal republic, taking to recognition the bijural, bicultural nature, bilingual of what we came to see. Nobody can pretend to say the Anglophone community of this country, Northwest and Southwest, do not constitute a minority and that they have an equal and fair right to choose and designate who is to be the President of the Republic. I disagree there with the report. Don't undermine the effect that the above one million people could have had on the outcome of these results. To say otherwise, I dare to say it. And they're listening to me. The Amber Boys will rejoice. They will rejoice that you have given them recognition by saying, ah, you of the Northwest and Southwest provinces, regions, sorry, can get to hell. The eight other Francophone regions have voted a president you will give them recognition. In those circumstances, your lordships, I beg one of you to just create a space in your residence for me. I will not go me back to Bamenda. They will not allow me to enter there. They will ask Basama, you go find what you were on there. But I've come here to reiterate the fact, your lordships, that they are Cameroonians like each and every one of us. Don't give them justification to continue to fight for cessation. It pains some people to hear it. I live it daily. 
Your Lordship, I'm the bar president, je suis le bâtonnier, qui dans le show, il y a deux ans, avait fait un appel aux avocats de reprendre le travail. Parce que le gouvernement avait monté la bonne foi en commençant à résoudre leurs problèmes. Personne ne peut me contredire. Je suis le premier qui avait appelé à mes jeunes confrères et les ambassonniers ont dit qu'ils vont brûler ma maison. L'État m'a offert la sécurité. J'ai rejeté parce que j'ai dit que vous allez effectivement confirmer que j'ai été acheté. Parce que c'est ça. Monsieur les membres du Conseil constitutionnel, je suis un enfant élevé par son Excellence John Fundy. C'est mon tuteur. Hier, pendant qu'on était ici, ils ont brûlé sa résidence dans notre village Baba 2. Ils ont kidnappé sa petite sœur. Tout le monde est au courant. Qui Et quand j'ai suivi mon grand frère, monsieur le ministre Oona, et mon ami et frère, le professeur Golengole, parler de ceux qui ont apporté la paix et la stabilité dans ces pays. Qui peut me contredire Qui en a fait plus que John Fundy Qui a présenté ses candidats Il n'a plus de maison. Vous avez suivi, on a tiré sur son chauffeur. Qui a pris le risque d'aller dans le nord-ouest pour calmer ses enfants, on le traite de traître. Et je suis son alter ego. C'est pourquoi je vais demander au président de me trouver de la place. Vous êtes même de ma belle famille, non Vous savez, ma fille est mariée chez les Bétis. On me traite déjà des... Vous allez me chercher de place parce que je ne vais pas rentrer, monsieur le président. Qu'on ne vous trompe pas. Il n'y a pas eu d'élection dans le nord-ouest et le sud-ouest. Veuillez n'est pas donné raison aux sécessionnistes. Veuillez ne pas légitimiser la sécession. Je, je n'aurai pas le choix. Étant né au Nord-Ouest, having been born in the Northwest, where I have all my investments and my children go to school, I'll be forced to follow them. I don't fear to say it. If I have to leave, I'll be forced to follow them. I say this because they're hearing me. I'm not going to pretend and come and sit here. All my investments, my brother has lost his house. I'll follow them if they continue with secession. Give that new president of the republic authorization and give him the powers to resolve this problem for us and for posterity. This said, your lordships, I was not out for sensation. I'm speaking facts which I've lived on a daily basis. As an Anglo-Saxon trained lawyer, before I invite my colleagues, I will say what I'm sure you will understand. Out of professional and academic honesty, I say, I associate myself in total with all the submissions of all the lawyers who came before me, in particular the lawyers who submitted for other candidates. I associate myself with their submissions, and I urge your lordships to uphold them in the course of these submissions. The order, finally, your lordship, Mr. President, I honor you, I respect you. I was trained to talk My only tool of trade is talking. If you allow me here, I'll talk to you tomorrow, but I don't want to do so, your lordships. I respect you. I venerate you because of your age and experience. Wouldn't like to keep you again here like yesterday. Candidate Joshua Osi wants to show to the world. And that's why his lawyers are a replica of the Republic of Cameroon. The first of the lawyers who will come and talk here will edify you in the French language. Barrister Mustafa Nguana will follow me, followed by Barrister Sufu Benjamin, he will edify you in the English language. Barrister Atanga Charles Mbambole, a lawyer based in Douala, will speak in French and English. He will be followed by Barrister Adeline Jongang, she will speak in French. 
Barista Mbanda Boniface is based in Yaoundé. He will speak in French and English. Barista Calvin Ta is based in Yaoundé. He will speak in French and English. Barista Nana Wilson, I trained him. I'm proud of him. He will round up in English. I wish my young daughter, Barista Sama Tina, were here. She's holding brief for me in Bamenda. I would have loved to introduce her because she asked me, Daddy, what becomes in the future? And I said, we are coming for the Constitutional Council to determine how your future will be. I'm on my way out. I've come to the highest ladder of the Cameroon Bar. I will not go further than that. My duty is to address venerated judges like you. And at the end, candidate Joshua Nambangi Osi himself will address this tribunal briefly. I may come up and dot some I's and put some T's. Once more, we thank the other parties who will talk to you. We may not have the chance to reply to what they will say. We don't doubt the fact that Elekam and their lawyers will come and support the report. But my lords, Elekam who violates the law, the divisional counting, the divisional, uh, how do you call it? Vote, vote counting, commission. counting commission of Mezam rejected an application and they used some. We know the law is an ass, but they went around because it's CPD militants and allowed them to vote. My big brother, the prime minister, why didn't he go and vote in Oku? These boys kidnapped his phone, kidnapped everybody, killed people. There, why didn't he go there with all the guts he has? It's our taxpayers' money. Eh? My father and big brother, Honorable Achu, they burnt his house. They burnt the house of this, the, the, the councillor here. Where were, all the, where were all the protection? The two military judges told you here, they even told you that they had to make some clean up. <laughs> See how they're treating Camonians? Clean up. Have you seen clean up? The other day in Dub, they burnt some young men who were shot. They burnt them, roasted them with their bags. It's on social media. Is that the Cameroon want to build? You have the knife and the kick posterity will judge you with all honor venerated honorable members do justice and peace in the culture in which i was trained the law of equity is very important equity will not suffer a loss to go without a a remedy equity will always use for a, look for a remedy you have full powers I disagreed with what was happening yesterday. I even tried to intervene as amicus curiae, but the lawyers did not want it. Nobody should fool us by section 4, 3 and 4 of the organic law. You did it last time. Even if it is not in the petition, you can adjourn this matter and call witnesses. You can visit the locals in quo. You can do whatever. You have full powers to review the regularity of the elections because your decision is final. I thank you for your kind attention, your lordships. May Barista Mustafa Nguana come and I give the instructions. Please go to the point, address this court, respect court decorum, because candidate Joshua Osi has asked us to respect decorum and instructed us to talk about our petition. And we respect your lordships i pray that exceptionally authorize the candidate to sit down when it will be his turn to talk to you he will come here we've been standing since two days thank you your lordship venerated president of the constitutional council and members of the constitutional council Beaucoup de, de discipline. Euh.